Welcome to my world. Another day, another time, another period to experience uh, acquisition of knowledge. Knowledge is power, health is wealth. Today's topic shall be on fear. Fears of vaccine. The kind of experience we have when they talk about vaccine. It must have been born out of that first experience we had. Just like every child uh, fears nothing. But the moment they touch fire, burning fire, and they get burnt, the child starts having that fear. So our fears are born out of our experiences. But is our fears, our fears justified? Is our fear justified? The only way to know is coming along with me. Let us look whether the fears of vaccine is justified. And I shall also help to talk about the experience our fears with the old type of vaccine and the, the newer types of vaccine. Uh, we keep upgrading, new ideas keep coming in. So the way of production of vaccine in those days is quite different from now. And probably, could, is that another source of fear? Yes, it could be. No, it may not. So let us check out and know more in the slide section that I shall proceed on to. If you like what you are watching, press the like button, subscribe, press the notify, and you will encourage more production of this. Let us start by accepting the fact that vaccine prevents millions of deaths, especially in children, every year. Fears of vaccines. The outline. Objective. Introduction. Chronology of concept. Fears categorized and debunked. Recommendation. Introduction. The term vaccine is later coined from the Latin word for cow, vaca. To date, vaccination has become one of the most effective strategies to control and reduce infectious diseases, preventing millions of deaths, as I acknowledged earlier. Fears is defined as an unpleasant emotion caused by the threat of danger, pain, or harm. So, we have, vaccine fear, therefore, could be also called vaccine hesitancy because people will not want to uh, be vaccinated. And the spike in vaccine hesitancy often coincides with new information, new policy, or newly reported view, risk, preferences for alternative health, political polarization, and belief based extremism. So, uh, this picture we are now seeing uh, around this uh, area that these are viruses and bacteria representing prokaryotes and uh, virus. The chronology of concept. The earliest concept as regards vaccine, live well, used live pathogen, cowpox, to really treat. And that was uh, done by Jenner, the first vaccine producer. Ever. The second concept, which came almost 50 years thereafter, is that of uh, uh, Louis Pasteur, where he used uh, the chicken cholera uh, vaccine, Pastorella multis, alternative strain vaccine for human rabies, all these are on animals, and uh, uh, you can look at the references. The golden era started with production of so many vaccines using life attenuated, inactivated, and subunit vaccines. So, so many vaccines were produced uh, thereafter. Then the advances in cultural technique defined a landmark success in the second golden age of vaccinal Biology, leading to the development of vaccine infections such as poliomyelitis, measles, mumps, bella, and so on. The modern technique is where the problem uh, escalated, this fear escalated, and that is why we need to emphasize much on it. In the early 1970s, advancement in molecular biology led to the development of recombinant DNA technology, and over the next 50 years, recombinant expression systems such as E. coli, Sarcosis, or baculovirus insect cells were established for foreign protein production, leading to the third phase of vaccine development and the emergence of sub-unit vaccine. Emergence of new technologies applied to the uh, vaccine production, such as nanotechnology. World Health Organization estimates that vaccine 
save between 4 million and 5 million lives every year, just like I established uh, in the beginning of this uh, presentation. In summary, we have moved from traditional vaccine, which uh, started with uh, Edward Jenner, based on old pathogen, to subunit vaccine, to new vaccine technology, to vector vaccine, and now DNA vaccines. The DNA vaccine is where uh, the fear uh, becomes more. All nucleic acid vaccines are based on DNA cloned into delivery plasmid or the direct injection of messenger RNA to express antigen into the host. These were used because of this COVID-19 problem. The endogenous protein synthesis may make a natural infection and they receive cellular and humoral responses. It's these cellular and humoral responses that uh, really makes it very effective. Fear categorized and debunk. This is the area of concern. Needle fear. It is a psychological uh, problem. Though we, uh, not unless the, nobody will be uh, prick with needle that will not feel pain. Uh, severe allergic reaction. These are uh, sometimes uh, reactions to some of the components in, used in preparation. Scientifically based knowledge and understanding about how vaccines are made or work. Where the, 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 the you know how these things were made, you. Uh, there are people who uh, have fears. And then there is the conspiracy theories too, that people believe that vaccines are now being made to wipe out the population, depopulate the world. Vaccines are given to healthy people. When you are healthy, you want to maintain your state of health. So when vaccines are to be given to you, you don't want something that will compromise your health. The ingredient contained in this preparation, like aluminum compound are used as immunological adjuvants to increase the effectiveness of many vaccines and this is where people are concerned about that this compound like i said in scientifically based knowledge be, they believe that it, it will affect the it has great effect on human and could even cause uh, cancers but it has now been debunked that infants are exposed to greater quantity of aluminum in daily life, in breastfeed and infant formula. Then the same thing goes for formaldehyde, that the naturally occurring uh, formaldehyde contains 70 to 50 to 70 times the greater amount of formaldehyde than the one present in vaccine. The, all the references are there. They, like I also mentioned, cancer, the fear of cancer, that there are as probably carcinogenic substances are being used. Then the sudden death infant syndrome, when children will just all of a sudden die, have been found to show a negative correlation uh, with the vaccine. So that has been not debunked too. Then let's look at the methodology. The early methodology was uh, by Jenna, where he believed that infect people with carpox in order to protect them against smallpox. So it is a choice of having little pains compared to the smallpox uh, death. Because smallpox killed over 300 million people. So you can imagine just a little pain that you experience from that uh, cowpox uh, vaccine. Then the special method to improve on genus by inoculating animal first before man. So it was not as direct like uh, the physician Louis Pasteur. And the passaging of this organism to reduce the virulence. So that virulence makes it uh, less virulent, and that has been proven outside. So the fear is not much entertained during the early uh, years of uh, vaccines. Early days use the whole organism, life or artificial on animal, and gradually inoculate human. The level of fear could be said to be minimal. The fear of the virus as experienced during the Spanish flu also helped. 1918, where 50 million people were killed. But as as time went on, Pfizer paid, so you can imagine when people started developing more uh, skepticism, uh, when Pfizer had to pay 75 million uh, and uh, uh, accepted responsibility for the death of the sibling of dozens of children in Niger not Kano, Nigeria. They initiate, initially feared 20, 2009 uh, H1N1 pandemic of influenza was another one 
that eventually there was the people were angered that the expectation that it will be devastating did not uh, happen. People just took vaccine for nothing. So a crisis of public confidence in vaccine developed. In the UK, for example, the MMR, that is, you are talking of measles uh, and rubella vaccines, was the subject of controversy after the publication in Lancet of 1998 paper by Andrew Wakefield. And this man was found to have collected money because he was trying to really advise that, yes, the vaccine has problem, but eventually it was, he was caught. This suggestion was not supported, and several subsequent peer-reviewed studies have failed to show any association between vaccine and autism because he was trying to claim Autism could be associated with vaccine. It later emerged that Wakefield had received funding from litigants against vaccine manufacturer and that he had not informed colleagues or medical authorities of his conflict of interest. The CDC and IOF of the, the National Academy of Science Australia Department and the UK National Health Service have all concluded that there is no a link between autism and vaccines. The recommendation, natural infection is the mother of all vaccines, said Dr. Anthony Fashi. But uh, this was not proven true when you talk of HIV, malaria, and tuberculosis that refuses to uh, really uh, go down even after uh, being infected. Since vaccines are effective at preventing several severe diseases, hospitalization and death from COVID-19 in the U.S. Infant children are now and adults are recommended uh, to be vaccinated according to the Center of Disease Control and Prevention. Recommendation also that they should fast track the availability of effective testing because when you are able to test and you know the level of uh, your vac uh, vaccine level, then your uh, exposition to danger, you, the person will be vaccinated. It is also necessary to increase surveillance and launch vaccination campaign. The coming decade, we need global cooperation, funding, commitment, and mission to ensure that no child or adult suffers or dies from a vaccine-preventable disease. Promotional materials showing smiling when receiving injection for those who have great fear of uh, uh, vaccine. I mean, injection and the needle also uh, there could be local anesthesia. Vaccine method delivered to the mucosa is another alternative interface that is uh, which has been applied in some of the uh, polio uh, cases. These are the references. Thanks for watching. So.